Well, at the outset, I'd like to express my serious thanks to the UKRO, uh, to Ken, Lewis, Corrine, and uh, all the team and their dedicated work on behalf of the UKRO, and Ed for his kind words. Uh, I'm very honored to be recognized tonight for our work, and particularly to share the occasion with Rick, uh, Yasir, our collaborator, and my boss, Michael. Um, I'm often asked by students to give a background to myself, and you've heard a bit of a background tonight, which was a big surprise to me. Terrific, Lewis. <laughs> uh, I have to get those fish, though. Uh, so students ask, often ask me, how did I get to where I am now? And frankly, it's not a question I particularly like. Uh, I can't rustle up any sage advice or any motivational or life-changing experience. I simply credit four factors, uh, serendipity, place, colleagues, and family. So first, serendipity. Here you have to imagine science in the early 1990s, 10 years before the human genome was sequenced. At that time, less than 10% of our genes had been identified, and we knew little about their functions. It was an exciting time with daily discovery. My group was particularly interested to find genes that governed interactions between cells. The logic here was simple. The building block of life is the cell. We're all made up of multiple cells. Generating the complexity from a single cell must require communication and coordination to establish complex organ systems like the kidney. This thinking led to the discovery of WINT4, the first signaling factor critical for generating nephrons, the functional unit of our kidneys, from kidney stem cells. We didn't know the function of WINT4 at the outset, but this work crystallized a long-standing interest in how the kidney is built, a really remarkable and beautiful process as you've seen. With regard to place, I've been fortunate to work in excellent universities and research centers around the world, along world alongside world-class scientists who have challenged and inspired me. And this good fortune continues today at USC. Then, of course, there's the lab. And truthfully, I'm really a spokesman for the hard work and creative insights. I'm fortunate tonight to have several of the colleagues from my lab here. On table eight, please stand up. All right. So those of you with a keen eye might recognize one of those, and that's Sanjeev Kumar from a past gala. Sanjeev was supported by the UKRO for his discovery of a new kidney repair pathway, and he's now setting up his own group at Cedar sinai Hospital. So from this group, I want to especially thank one person, and that's my wife, Jill. So we've worked together for 28, 28 years, and um, those who know me will agree this is a heroic feat on Jill's part. <laughs> the support of Jill in and out of the lab has been an extra special part of my life as a researcher. And on top of this, our children, one of whom is here tonight, Sean, have been tolerant of our obsession. So where is our research? And I have to say, it's exciting times again. We have a blueprint for how the kidney is built. We can apply these rules to program stem cells in a dish to form mini kidney-like structures and complex disease models. We have critical new insights into kidney injury and repair that will propel new efforts to prevent and treat severe kidney injury. The we here refers not just to my laboratory, of course, but to an outstanding and interactive group of researchers and clinicians across USC, both at the Keck School and at the Children's Hospital Los Angeles. And here I have to emphasize the catalytic role of the UKRO in cementing new initiatives 
amongst this group. So while progress has been made in the last few years, translating basic research into new kidney treatments is really tough. The speed this happens is frustratingly slow for the researcher, but desperately slow for patients and their families. There's a pressing need for new solutions. The pressure is on us, and I certainly feel it. I only know a few of you in the audience, but hopefully through this occasion I can get to know more. Uh, I'm only a short distance away at the Keck School of Medicine. I'm more than happy to discuss our research efforts to find new solutions to treat kidney disease. Thank you for your attention and fight on.